Good morning, beloved brothers and sisters. I am so grateful that you can take this first step with me today. Today is the first day and I just want to give God thanks and give God glory for this opportunity to be serving you, for this opportunity to be joining you in prayer. I just want to spend this morning talking to you about a few points that God raised with me yesterday about what he's going to be doing in this period of 100 days. And I just want us to go through it and then we are going to pray over it. So please join me in this. One of the things that God said he's going to be doing in this season, he says that tell my people that this is a fight to regain control of their lives in 2020. He says it's a fight to regain control. Some of us have lost control of our lives. Some of us have lost control of our destiny. Some of us have lost control of our businesses. Some of us have lost control of our finances. And God is saying that in this 100 days, what he's going to be doing is for you to regain control over your life in this year 2020. Don't be mistaken by any chance to think that 2020 is over. Don't be mistaken to decree and declare that this is a bad year. Don't be mistaken to say that nothing good can come out of 2020. There's a lot of um, theories going around that 2020 isn't a good year. There's a lot of proclamation. But I'm calling on you not to be caught up in the euphoria and say things like 2020 is not good. But God is saying in this season, one of the things that I'm going to do is to get help my people to regain control over 2020 and that is what he is doing so that's point number one point number two he says that this is a prison break you are breaking out of bondage you are breaking out of fear you are breaking out of sickness out of poverty and all manners of limitation god says i am breaking you out it is a prison break i mean he calls it a prison break because many of us are in prison spiritually your marriage is in prison spiritually maybe your finances is in prison spiritually maybe your mind is in prison your marriage your life your health is in prison and God is saying that this is a prison break and I'm breaking you out of every form of limitation anything that has limited you in 2020 God is breaking you free and breaking you out of it in the name of Jesus he's going to be dealing with sicknesses I don't know who is sick right now at the sound of my voice but I'm I pray that during this period in the name of Jesus healing will come your way you will be healed you will rise up again and testify to the glory of his name I like one of the things that he's saying he's doing he says I'm breaking my people out of poverty because one of the things that COVID-19 did to us is to drag people back into poverty it has dragged some of us back into poverty back into financial lack and God wants to give you financial freedom in the name of Jesus he says I'm breaking you out of poverty yes maybe you've lost your job but believe and have faith and trust in God when he says I am breaking you out he wants to give you financial freedom all over again so we are praying in the name of Jesus that you will continue this journey with us because that's one of the things that God says he's going to be doing he says i'm going to break you out of bondage whatever is bound you whatever has kept you bound we are breaking you out of it in the mighty name of jesus you are going to come out of it whatever has become a bondage over your life that is suppressing you that is depressing you i pray in the name of jesus anything that has become a yoke around your neck i pray in the mighty name of jesus that you will be free you will be set free in jesus mighty name because that's what god wants to do for you the third point that god said is let your floodgates of 2020 be open god wants to open in the floodgates of someone he wants to open your floodgates there's a floodgate for 2020 there is a floodgate that the floodgate has been shut in the lives of some of us the floodgates have been shut and God says I am opening the floodgates for 2020 and when that floodgate is open oh my God blessings will come miracles will come testimonies will come favor will come anointing will come prosperity will come so many things will come out of it you will begin to birth out certain things when that floodgate is open 
And so we are going to be praying that the floodgates will be open in the name of Jesus. God says, that's what I want to do. I want to open the floodgates of 2020 and he needs you and I to be strategically positioned and be praying and be receptive of that floodgate. That it will be open over your life. It will be open over every aspect of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you for this third revelation in the name of Jesus. Moving on to the fourth revelation, God says the restoration of all that you lost from the month of January 2020 to the month of August 2020. I mean, I am so amazed that God selected the 1st of September for us to do this and he said 100 days because when God spoke to me about the vision initially it was a couple of months ago but I was just waiting for the timing until one day he confirmed that we are starting on the 1st of September. I believe that God knows what he's doing at every time. He wants us to pray and invest into the month of September, the month of October, the month of November and the month of December. So he says that everything that you lost from January, February, March, April, May, June, July and August, he says he is restoring them to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration of everything that was lost in that month. I don't know what you lost in that month, but I know that people lost so many things. Some lost their life. Some lost their dignity. Some lost their business. Some lost their ministry. Some lost their home. Some lost their child. Some lost their parent. But God is saying that I'm bringing restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. It is my prayer that restoration will locate you, that God's restoration will find you. It is my prayer that God will restore everything, all the years that the cankerworm and the locusts have, have eaten up. It is my prayer that God will restore you. God is speaking to someone right now. He says, I want to restore your peace. I want to restore your joy. I want to restore your happiness. Joy, peace and happiness does not come from wealth. It doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from the spouse that is in your life. It comes from God. It is only God that can give this to you. And God is saying that I want to restore. I want to restore. I want to restore my people. Everything that you lost them. Because I know many have lost. Some lost their health in this year. Some have lost their children in this year. Some have lost everything. They've lost their reputation they've lost their business they've lost their finances a lot of us were in business and the businesses are shut down a lot of us were in ministries and ministry doors have been shut a lot of us were doing a lot of charitable things but all of that is seized up but God is saying that I want to restore if only you can have faith and only you can travel with him in this season you will begin to experience this you will begin to experience this and nothing can stop you in the name of Jesus the fifth point is God says that you will experience the power of prayer he says you will experience the power of prayer a lot of us know how to pray but a lot of us don't know how to listen prayer is a communication between you and God when you pray to him you should be silent enough to hear him talk back to you and so God is saying that I'm restoring communication between myself and my people and you are going to experience the power of prayer in the name of Jesus. Come prepared, someone. Come prepared, come prepared, come prepared. Because you are about to experience the power of prayer like you never have in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Father, I thank you. And the sixth point he said is calling forth my words, my promises and my prophecies for this season. Hallelujah. Calling forth my words, my promises, and my prophecies for the season in the name of Jesus. There's a word that God has for you in this season. There's a promise that God has over you in this season. There's a prophecy for you in this season. That it looks that as if it's not going to be fulfilled. It looks as if all hell is breaking loose. It looks as if it is impossible. But God says that we should call forth his word. He says call forth. Call them out. Because at the beginning of the year God said so much stuff over us. One of the biggest words that I heard across many platforms that the year 2020 is our year of perfect vision. I don't know for you, but I still call it my year of perfect vision. We have to be immo immovable, unshakable. We will not deny the word of God that came at the beginning of the year. 
We will not denounce his promises and his prophecies. We will not the, let the devil to shake everything around us to the point where we can no longer hold on to his promise. I am holding on firm to his promise. I'm holding on firm to his word. Every word that God spoke forth, I am holding on to it. And what God is saying that we are doing in this hundred days is we are going to pray and call them forth. I don't know what promise was given over your life, what prophecy was released over your life, but we need to activate it in the name of Jesus and I'm calling on you to activate it. We will be activating it within this 100 days. We are going to activate it. So begin to take out your books. I don't know what prophecies you wrote down. I don't know what promises you wrote down. I don't know what word God spoke over you. Maybe you don't even know the word that God spoke over you or maybe God spoke no word over you because you didn't go asking. But I'm praying in the name of Jesus that by the time we are done with this, you would have had the word that God has for you. You would have acted Activated the word that God has for you. You would have prophesied it, proclaim it in the name of Jesus. You would have speak it forth so much that your heart will begin to believe it. Your mind will begin to conceptualize it in the name of Jesus. And it will begin to manifest in your life. It will manifest in your marriage. It will manifest in your business. It will manifest in your finances. And it will manifest in your destiny. It will manifest in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to call those words out. Begin to call it out. It is not about what we see happening in our community right now. It is not about what the economists are saying. It is not about what the statistics are. It is not about what politicians are saying, but it is about what God is saying concerning us in this season. And I'm calling for his word over you in Jesus mighty name. And wherever you were watching for, we are going together to call for the word of God concerning this season and it will come to pass in the name of Jesus and I need somebody to shout and type amen right now because that is what God is doing in this season that's what he wants to do that is exactly what he wants to do in this period and we are going all out in the name of Jesus and the seventh point that God spoke to me about he says my crowning for 2020 has come. Your crowning for 2020 has come. It is our season of crowning. It is our season of crowning. It is our season of crowning. God says, I'm going to crown my people. Because you are a royal priesthood and a chosen generation. You are a prince, you are a princess, you are a king and you are a queen in the name of Jesus. And God says that I want to crown you. I am going to crown you. I'm crowning your year. You are not praying from September to December by accident. You are praying because that is the will of God concerning you. You are not part of this movement by accident. You are part of this movement because this is where God wants you for the season. And we are praying and we are going to crown. God says, I'm going to crown your year. I'm going to crown your year. I'm going to crown your year in the name of Jesus. God, we give you praise. Give you praise this morning. Jesus, we thank you for this seven major things that you said you were bringing forth over our lives in the name of Jesus. We thank you for these major breakthroughs and deliverance and restoration that is coming our way. I am so grateful for what you are doing, Lord, because the first, the, the last six months has been very difficult months for people. It has been trying times for people and God, you have decided to come at this time and gather us together and restore so many many great things unto one, release so many things over our lives, deliver us, heal the sick and cause miracles, signs and wonders, cause an explosion in the body of Christ. And I just want to thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you are watching with me this morning and standing in prayer for me, I want us to pray these seven points into being. I want us to pray because God says that every word that comes out of his mouth will not return to him void, but it will fulfill everything that he has said. So I want us to go through these seven points gradually and pray over them in the name of Jesus. The first one is, this is a fight to regain control of your life in 2020. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, myself and my brothers and sisters, we are praying, Lord, and that we will get regain control of our lives in 2020. 
I don't know who is spiraling out of control right now, but regain control right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know whose marriage is spiraling out of control right now, but I call on you to regain control in the name of Jesus. I don't know whose child is spiraling out of control. God is saying that we are gaining, regaining control, and I call on you in the name of Jesus to regain control over your children in the name of Jesus. I don't know whose business is shut down. I'm calling you to regain control. I don't know whose business is going into debt right now or going into liquidation right now or is non-existent. All your doors are about to shut, but I pray in the name of Jesus because one of the things that God says he is doing is it's a fight to regain control over everything that concerns you in 2020. Regain control over your life. Regain control over your livelihood. And regain control in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm praying for someone whose employment is on the verge of being terminated in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for someone who is still at home on fellow in Jesus name. And I'm praying on someone who's been laid off in the mighty name of Jesus that you will not spiral out of control in any way, shape or form. And God has come to your, your aid. He's come to your rescue in Jesus name. And, and you are gaining control in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to gain control and begin to speak that Father, Lord, I gain control. Begin to decree and declare over yourself um, that I gain control. It is a fight to gain control. Um, and this is a fight that I am determined to win in the name of Jesus. Um, I am determined. You are determined uh, to win this fight in the name of Jesus because I will regain control. Um, whether the devil likes it or not, you are regaining control. You will regain control of your marriage. Um, you will regain control of your family. You will regain control of your children. Um, you are regaining control of your destiny in the name of Jesus. We are taking it back. Everything that the enemy is stolen from us in this six to eight months, I am regaining it back in the name of Jesus. I take control over my life in the name of Jesus. I take it back. I take it back. I take control in the name of Jesus. The next one is it is a prison break. This is a prison break. We are breaking out of shackles. We are breaking out of chains. We are breaking out of bondage. We are breaking out of limitations in the name of Jesus. We've shattered glass ceilings in the mighty name of Jesus. We are breaking free. Somebody, you are coming out. And let the locks be open in the name of Jesus. Let the locks be open. Let the chains be broken. And let the scales begin to fall up because we are, it is a prison break. It is a prison break in the name of Jesus. I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. Somebody begin to break out. And begin to pray and say, Father Lord, I am breaking out in the name of Jesus. I break free. I break free. I break free because Jesus said the enemy in John chapter 10 verse 10 he says the enemy comes to kill to steal and to destroy but I have come so that you would have life and you would have the life more abundantly so I pray in the name of Jesus oh Rabbi Santa Cabreca Bosom that you will regain control over your life in the name of Jesus you are regaining control and you are breaking out of every prison you are breaking out of every shackle you are breaking out of every bondage you are breaking Breaking out of any form of limitation and, and you are breaking out of poverty in the name of Jesus. The enemy cannot hold you bound. The enemy cannot hold, trap you in poverty in any way, shape or form. The enemy cannot keep you in prison. I need someone to make that much noise in Jesus name. I need someone to fight, fight a good fight of faith and come out in the name of Jesus. I need someone to be determined. I need someone to say in your heart that there is no way that I am staying where I am am in the name of Jesus. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out in the name of Jesus. You've got to say this to yourself that I'm coming out. My marriage is coming out. My children are coming out. My husband is coming out. My wife is coming out. My, everything that concerns my family is coming out. My ministry is coming out in the name of Jesus. My ministry is coming out. My business is coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. We are coming out. We are coming out in Jesus name. He says, I am breaking fear. One of the things that COVID-19 has done to the world is put fear. The pandemic is put fear in the hearts and minds of people. 
But God says, I am breaking the spirit of fear from over you in the name of Jesus. I am breaking the spirit of fear from over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let fear be broken from over your life. Let fear be broken from over your life. Fear is a spirit. It is false evidence appearing real. That is what fear means. It means false evidence appearing real. It is not real, but it appears real. It it scares you. It threatens you. It intimidates you. It prevents you. It limits you. But God is breaking the spirit of fear from over your life in the name of Jesus that you will become as bold as a lion. He says, I am breaking. It's a prison break. Many of us are trapped in all kinds of sicknesses. I pray in the name of Jesus that heart diseases will be will be healed in the name of Jesus. Kidney diseases, liver diseases, cancer, HIV, you be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for fibroid diabetes in Jesus' mighty name. God says, I'm healing my people. I am healing my people. I am healing my people. I am healing my people. Begin to receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. Limitation, the spirit of limitation. The devil has limited God's people. He has limited us. Many of us don't even realize what our potential is anymore. We are performing below our potential. We are performing below our capability. We are performing below our calling. We are performing below our, 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 our gifting. But I pray over you in the mighty name of Jesus that you will begin to arise and every limitation will be shaken off your life. Every limitation will be broken off your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The fourth point was, the third point was, let your floodgates for 2020 be opened before the end of the year. Oh yes, let my floodgates be open. Father Lord, let the floodgates be open. Let the floodgates be open for me in the name of Jesus. Let there be an explosion concerning my life. Let my territories be enlarged in the name of Jesus. Let my territories be enlarged. I speak to the north, the south, the east and west. Let it begin to make room for me. Let it begin to make room for my ministry. Let it begin to make room oh, for my business in the name of Jesus. I call it out in Jesus mighty name oh yes Lord let the floodgates be open the floodgates of 2020 are commanded to be open in the name of Jesus the fourth point is restoration of all that you have lost I don't know what you lost in January I don't know what you lost in February in March April May June July August Take stock of what you lost because God says that I am restoring. I mean, if I were you, I will write down everything that I lost. And every morning when I come in prayer, I would say to God, this is what I lost, Father. And you said that you are restoring. May you restore. May you restore. May you restore. May you restore. May you restore in the name of Jesus. May you restore over your people. May you restore everything that we lost, everything that the canker worms and the lockers stole from your children. Let it be restored stored in the name of Jesus. I pray restoration, Lord, restoration, restoration for every month that has gone past that we've been unproductive or underperforming. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will be restored. We will be recompensed in the name of Jesus. Point number five is you will experience the power of prayer. Father Lord, I want to experience the power of prayer. I want to experience the power of prayer, Lord. I want to be able to go in my pr prayer closet, Lord, and experience your power. Because there is a power to be experienced. It is not about how eloquent you are. It is not about how, uh, um, how, how fast you can pray or how long you can pray. But there is a power that only God can give you in prayer in the name of Jesus. And I will pray that you will experience that power of prayer in Jesus' name. That you will not just pray, but you will also hear from God. In this season, God will begin to open your ears so that you can hear from Him. May God open your ears so that you can hear from Him in the name of Jesus. That you will hear clearly from God. You will speak to Him and He will speak back to you in the name of Jesus. And He will reveal great and mighty things unto you in Jesus name. One of the things that God will do in this season in your prayer closet is he will 
download certain things into your spirit. He will bring forth so much revelation. God will speak to men in the name of Jesus. He will speak to you mysteries. He will bring forth revelation and wisdom to you if you spend time with him. That is the power of prayer that he's talking about. That is the power of prayer. The things that you can learn, no education can give you. Things that no other man can give you. But it's only God. It is only when you spend time in prayer that you will begin to hear those things and you will begin to receive those things. And the sixth point is is calling for God's words and promises and prophecies for the season. I don't know what God has said over your life. I know what he said over mine and I am sure to God praying for everything to come to pass in the name of Jesus. I will not let the devil destroy my fate. I will not let, let the devil let the circumstances that is around me define everything that God has said concerning my life. Or I will not let the devil tell me that because from January to August it hasn't been well. I should expect that for the next four months that's how life is going to be. No, it's not. I speak prophetically over September, October, November, December in the mighty name of Jesus. And I call for the word of God. I call for the promise of God. And I call for the prophecies of God over your life and my life in the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, God says, I am crowning your year. He is crowning our year. He is crowning our year. He is crowning our year. Let your year be crowned in the name of Jesus. And I want to hear those prophecies and those testimonies is when they come out because I believe that there's an explosion coming. I believe that there's a miracle coming your way. I believe that there's a testimony coming the way of someone. There's a supernatural, not just any kind of testimony, but it's a supernatural one. A testimony that when men hear it, they will know that it is only God that can do this. And that is what God says he is doing. He's going to crown your year. May your year 2020 be crowned. I'm not talking about 2021. I'm not talking about 2022. I I am talking about 2020. Someone listening to the sound of my voice is saying, how can it be? But I know I serve a living God. We serve a living God who is the King of Kings, whose words are yea and amen. A God who loves his people, a God who in seven days was able to create this world and create me and rested. And that is the God that I'm talking about. The God who God is equal to prophesy to dry bones and the dry bones came to life in the name of Jesus. A God that can raise the dead. A God that can walk on the sea. A God that can do so many unimaginable things. He can save generations and tons of people in the name of Jesus. A God who is a divine healer in the name of Jesus. So this is your year. God says, I'm going to crown you. I'm going to crown you. Be expectant. That's all I'm asking of you is to be expectant. And God will do something great in your life. Father Lord, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for my brothers and sisters that have gathered this morning to listen to your word. As we have come to the end of our 20 minutes, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, that you will continue to make a way all these seven points, Lord. And at the end of the 100 days, Lord, they will re receive from you in this dimension in the mighty name of Jesus. May God richly bless you. May God richly bless you. If you haven't already subscribe can you please subscribe to our channel we are going to be here for 100 days from now to the 9th of december for 20 minutes every day please be a part of this please share this with 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 friends and family please share this let them subscribe let them be a part of this this is a prayer movement that god himself has ordained i thank god for your life and i pray that everything you do today will be blessed in the mighty name of jesus go Go and be blessed and go and be a blessing. May God richly bless you and keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen.